people participate in revolutionary organizations uh, because they hope to bring forth something better in the world. What do you hope will be achieved for women, for African people, on the eve of our revolutionary success? Uhuru. Uhuru. For President Yejide, um, well, when I thought about this question, I thought about just, um, you know, the chairman put forward uh, what a liberated Africa will look like. And um, I often think about everything that has been stolen from African people um, with the colonial assault on Africa and how human development and progress has been pushed back 600 years. And we can, you know, look at things today and be like, wow, our iPhones can do certain things and look at this technological advancement. And, and I feel like that comes from a place of like, African people never being the, the subjects of history, but being the objects, because if we understand like what Africa had produced prior to colonialism and everything African people have produced um, as a result of being enslaved and oppressed by this social system, by Europe and all of the wealth that Europe has that belongs to African people. I think about things that African people do on a daily basis from nothing, from turning nothing into something and how, you know, it's applauded and wow, look what they can do. And that, that's like, that's African people. And, you know, this is, you know, that's our, you know, and so it's just, it's infuriating. Like it incenses me because I just think about how, you know, we are dealing with these contradictions that colonial capitalism has put on the whole world. When you look at the environment and how Earth's lifespan's been cut down every single day because of the consequences of this social system. I mean, that really just outrages me. And so when I think about freedom, I really think about African people having access to our own resources, our own land for the ability to develop for ourselves. And like, that is so exciting. I, I just can't even, and we can write history and we can repair the damage. I just really look forward to that. And, you know, I just think that we have to totally reject this idea of living one more year, you know, like going a whole nother generation and just a lot, like with this situation the way it is. And, um, you know, that's, I'm just excited for, you know, the ability for us to possess our own ability to do for ourselves. Cause that's gonna, that's gonna open, you know, everything up. I mean, the African working class right now, when it's unleashed, please, you know. Yeah. 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 Yes. I really, really want to unite with Director Kile, and as she was answering, I, I was just thinking about um, I don't I don't know, but Chairman had said to me, you know, the you know African um, people don't have the ability to dream, that they can't even have the ability to be able to push past colonialism to be able to see the sky, and so like I'm excited for freedom for our children to be able to have dreams. You know what I'm saying? Real dreams, because every dream has been captured by colonialism, by this mode of production. So creating a new mode where African children and African people can dream. Like, yes, I'm excited. You know, um, for everything Director Kile just said and just to attach the ability to be able to dream. Cool, cool Comrade Janelle. I absolutely love what everyone is saying. I am. Um, I. When Director Akile talks about, um, you know, the marvel of having, you know, the technology that we have today, I'm just like, you know, imagine how much more we will create when we get rid of the colonial mode of production. Like that, like just all of the innovation that will come as a result of African people gaining control of their own land and resources. It's, it's going to be just an exponential growth for humanity. It's going to be an absolutely awe-inspiring time that we will be living in. I'm just so excited to, to push us forward into that reality. And I really believe that, you know, as like right now, we're, we're colonized people, but we can, because of the work of chairman and the work of the party, we can see a future beyond it. And it's just so... Like that's a very special thing. That's a very special thing that um, not all of our ancestors had the you know the privilege of like even feeling. So I want like 
I'm just really excited for the future. I, I really want to get out there. So, woohoo.